In Center County, a case involving drugs and a stolen gun takes a bizarre twist when the suspect is finally found after she falls out of a tree stand and police say she wasn't in that stand to do some hunting. With more on the story, Gary Sanderson joins us from our Center County newsroom. Gary? Jen, the short version of the story is woman falls out of tree stand and lands in jail, but there is more to the story, including why the woman was in the tree stand and what exactly she was doing there. This is Betty Moore now in jail. Earlier this year, Spring Township Police say while she was working as a cleaning lady, Moore and another woman stole a gun to sell for heroin. So she was missing for a couple months and then uh, she, we finally found her and she was to turn herself in on a Thursday afternoon and she did not do so. The manhunt was on for Betty Moore. Where could she be? Moore on the run apparently thought they won't look for me in a hunting tree stand. She had fled to nearby Snowshoe Township, flying at an altitude of 20 feet. The very next day she was found after having fallen out of the tree. There on the ground, police say Moore admitted not only being in the tree stand, but while in the stand, she injected bath salts in her right arm. Police said purse was found nearby with syringes and white powder, and then Moore said it was all hers. Well, that is definitely unique. Uh, 911 called us and said that they had her on the phone, and so, you know, usually people have a lot of excuses why they can't turn herself in, so you're not sure whether it's true until in this case it was. Moore was jailed on $160,000 bail, $150,000 for the drugs and gun case charges, and an added $10,000 for falling out of a tree stand with drugs. This morning at the Center County Courthouse, Betty Moore was in a wheelchair for her preliminary hearing. Police say her injuries are not life-threatening from that fall from the tree stand. Moore this morning waived her hearings on both those charges and is now headed to trial. We're live in Center County, Gary Sanderson, 6 News.